hadiths and Quran verses about Ramadan in Arabic and English. What is fasting in Islam? Fasting in Islam is called Psalm or Siyam in the Quran. Psalm means to abstain from all that breaks fast like food, drink, smoking, having sex, or what decreases its reward like saying foul words, getting angry and shouting God etc. The fasting person must be a pleasant one with good spirits and good cheer. Muslims fast from the break of dawn, far, to the sunset, Maghreb. Fasting should be associated with intention before the call to far prayer. Fasting in Islam started in the second year of Hijra. Muslims all over the world wait eagerly for Ramadan as it is a time of increased inner peace and well-being. Here we will learn the following. What is fasting in Islam? Quran verses about Ramadan in Arabic and English. Hadith about Ramadan in Arabic and English. When do Muslims start fasting Ramadan? Who must fast Ramadan? What are the pillars of fasting? What invalidates fasting? Things that do not invalidate the fast. Conclusion Quran verses about Ramadan in Arabic and English. There are four verses in the glorious Quran talked about fasting in Ramadan. They are Verses number 183, 184, 185 and 187 in Surah Al-Baqarah, the Heifer. 1. The first verse, Why Fasting? In the first verse, Allah mentioned the prescription of fasting accompanied with one of its main fruits. O believers! Fasting is prescribed for you, as it was for those before you, so perhaps you will become mindful of Allah. O you who have faith in Allah and follow His Prophet, Allah has ordered you to fast, as He ordered those before you, so that you may become mindful of Allah. Protecting yourself from His punishment by doing good actions, fasting being one of the best of these. Al-Baqarah 183 2. The second verse, Who exempted from fasting? In this verse, Allah the Almighty mentioned those who have excuses to break their fast. Then Allah the Almighty mentioned that the one had the choice to fast or not fast and feed a needy person for every day in teeth. However, this second part of the verse is abrogated since fasting turned to be obligatory for all those who afford it. Fast a prescribed number of days. But whoever of you is ill or on a journey, then let them fast an equal number of days after Raman. For those who can only fast with extreme difficulty, compensation can be made by feeding a needy person for every day not fasted. But whoever volunteers to give more, it is better for them. And to fast is better for you, if only you knew. You are ordered to fast for a small number of days in the year. Yet whoever of you is ill, with an illness that makes fasting difficult, or traveling, then they do not need to fast, but they can make up for these days by fasting the same number of other days. Those who are able to fast, but do not, should compensate by feeding a poor person for every day they did not fast. Fasting is better for you than not fasting and feeding a poor person instead, if you only knew what goodness there is in fasting. This was the first of Allah's laws about fasting, whoever wanted to fast did so, and whoever did not want to fast was permitted not to, and fed a poor person instead. Afterwards Allah made fasting a duty for every able person who has reached puberty. Al-Baqarah 184 3. The third verse, Quran first revealed in Ramadan. In this verse, Allah the Almighty speaks about the relation between Ramadan and the Quran in the first part of the verse. Then, it is the abrogating part that makes fasting obligatory for those who afford exempting only those of excuses. Before that, one had the choice as mentioned in the previous verse. Raman is the month in which the Quran was revealed as a guide for humanity with clear proofs of guidance and a standard to distinguish between right and wrong. So whoever is present this month, let them fast. But whoever is ill or on a journey, then let them fast an equal number of days after Raman. Allah intends ease for you, not hardship, so that you may complete the prescribed period and proclaim the greatness of Allah for guiding you, and perhaps you will be grateful. The Quran was first revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, on the night of decree in the month of Ramadan. Allah revealed it as a guidance for people, with clear proofs of its guidance, and the criterion between the truth and falsehood. 
whoever reaches the month of Ramadan, and is well and healthy, is required to fast, and whoever is ill, or for whom fasting is difficult, or is traveling, then they may break their fast. If they do not fast then they must perform make-up fasts for the days they missed at another time. Allah intends ease, and not hardship, in what He decrees for you. And wants you to complete the right number of days and to glorify Him upon the completion of Ramadan, on the day of Eid, as He helped you and made it possible for you to fast. So that you thank Allah for guiding you to this religion which He has approved for you. Al-Baqarah 185 4. The Fourth Verse, Rules of Ramadan Night After mentioning Ramadan Day in the previous verses, here this verse tells us about some rules of night in Ramadan. It has been made permissible for you to be intimate with your wives during the nights preceding the fast. Your spouses are a garment for you as you are for them. Allah knows that you are deceiving yourselves. So He has accepted your repentance and pardoned you. So now you may be intimate with them and seek what Allah has prescribed for you. You may eat and drink until you see the light of dawn breaking the darkness of night, then complete the fast until nightfall. Do not be intimate with your spouses while you are meditating in the mosques. These are the limits set by Allah, so do not exceed them. This is how Allah makes His revelations clear to people, so they may become mindful of Him. At first it was not allowed for a man, if he had gone to sleep on the night of the fast and then woke up before dawn, to eat or drink, or approach his wife. Allah replaced this ruling, allowing you, O believers, to have relations with your wives during the nights of fasting. They are a protection for you, keeping you pure, and you are a cover for them, keeping them pure. You both need each other. Allah knew that you were betraying yourselves by doing what you were not allowed to, so He had mercy on you, turning to you when you asked for forgiveness, and made things easier for you. So, have relations with them, and seek the children Allah has decreed you, and eat and drink during the whole of the night, until the break of true dawn is clear to you. Then complete your fast, not consuming anything from the break of dawn until sunset. But do not have relations with your wives when you are in spiritual retreat in the mosques, because that invalidates the retreat. These laws are the limits of Allah, between what is allowed and what is forbidden so do not go near them. Whoever goes near the limits of Allah is close to falling into what is prohibited. By clearly setting out such laws, Allah makes His signs obvious to people so that they may be mindful of Him, and do what He instructs and leave what He has prohibited. Al-Baqarah 187 Hadith about Ramadan in Arabic and English There are many hadith tackling Ramadan fast. 1. Fasting in one of the pillars of Islam. Fasting in Islamic Sharia is a sort of worshipping Allah, as an obligatory religious duty, as shown in the following hadith. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Islam is based on five pillars. The testimony that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is the Messenger of Allah, establishing prayer, paying zakat and fasting Ramadan. Bukhari and Muslim It is one of the pillars of Islam. 2. Forgive your sins. Allah, the Almighty atones all Muslims' sins of the past year by fasting Ramadan. This is stated in the following hadith. The Messenger of Allah, said, the five daily salat, prayers, Friday, prayer, to the next Friday, prayer, and the fasting of Ramadan is expiation of the sins committed. So long as major sins are avoided. Muslim Fasting Ramadan causes sins to be forgiven This is shown in the following hadith. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported. The Messenger of Allah said, He who observes fasting during the month of Ramadan with faith while seeking its reward from Allah will have his past sins forgiven, al Bukhari and Muslim. 3. A Shield in the Day of Resurrection Fasting in Quran intercede for the fasting Muslim servant on the Day of Resurrection. Abdullah bin Amr, may Allah be pleased with them, reported, the Messenger of Allah, said. Fasting and Quran intercede for a man. Fasting says, O my Lord! I have kept him away from his food and his desires by day, so accept my intercession for him. The Quran says, I have kept him away from sleeping by night, so accept my intercession for him. Then their intercession for him is accepted. Hadith Sahih 4. A way to enter Jannah the fasting Muslim enters paradise from Arian gate. The Messenger of Allah said, In paradise, there is a gate called ar rayin it will be set on the day of resurrection, where are those who used to fast? Would you like to enter through Arian?
Whoever enters through it will never feel thirsty again, then when they have entered, it will be closed behind them, and no one but they will enter through it. Sunan and Nasai 2237 Fasting leads the Muslim to enter paradise. This is shown in the following hadith. Jabir, may Allah be pleased with him, reported. A man once said to the Messenger of Allah, Shall I enter paradise in case I say the obligatory prayers, observe fasting in Ramadan and treat as lawful which has been made permissible? By the Islamic Sharia and deny me what is forbidden and make no addition to it. The Prophet replied in the affirmative. 5. The month of Ramadan is the best month of the year for Muslims. The month of Ramadan is the month of night prayers, reciting and reading the Quran, giving alms and charities. It is a month in which the gates of paradise are opened and those of hellfire are closed, good deeds are multiplied, invocation is answered and sins are forgiven. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported. The Messenger of Allah, said, on the first night of the month of Ramadan devils are shackled, the jinn are restrained. The gates of the fires are shut that no gate among them would be opened, the gates of paradise are opened that no gate among them would be closed and a caller, an angel, calls. O seekers of the good, come near. O seekers of evil, stop. For there are those whom Allah, the Almighty frees from the fire. And that is every night. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported. The Messenger of Allah, said, There has come to you Ramadan, a blessed month, which Allah, the Almighty has enjoined you to fast. In it, the gates of heavens are opened and the gates of hell are closed and every devil is chained up. In it Allah, the Almighty has a night which is better than a thousand nights. Whoever is deprived of its goodness, is indeed deprived. Sunan and Nasai 2106 When do Muslims start fasting during Ramadan? Muslims wait eagerly to witness the crescent of Ramadan on the 29th day of Shaban every year the appearance of the crescent should be associated with the sunset of that day. The crescent appears first, then the sun sets after which the crescent disappears, too. This prophetic hadith illustrates that point. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported. The Messenger of Allah, said, Fast when you see it and break your fast when you see it, and if the weather is cloudy treat Shaban as having thirty days. Al-Bakari and Muslim who must fast Ramadan? Muslim scholars agreed unanimously that the adult, sane, healthy Muslim who is not on journey must fast Ramadan. The woman must be pure of menstruation and childbirth bleeding. The old person, the pregnant and breastfeeding mother, the sick person. The child who did not reach puberty and those who do hard works or sentenced to penal servitude are not allowed to fast Ramadan. The infidel and the insane person do not fast, either. In the following hadith. Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her reported. We would menstruate during the time of the Messenger of Allah, then when we were pure, we were ordered to make up for the missed days but we were not ordered to make up for the missed prayers. Ali bin Abi Talib, may Allah be pleased with him, reported. I heard the Messenger of Allah saying the pen has been lifted from three, the child until he reaches puberty, the sleeper until he wakes up and the insane until he regains his sanity. Musnad Ahmad 940, Book 5, Number 367 what are the pillars of fasting? There are two main pillars for fasting. Ah, the intention. The intention must be rendered before the dawn, far, every night of the month of Ramadan. Hafsa, may Allah be pleased with her, reported, the Messenger of Allah, said. Whoever does not form his intent form his intention to fast before Al-Far, the dawn, his fast will not be accepted. Related by the five Imams. It is not necessary to utter the intention with the tongue. It is in the heart which means that the Muslim means to fast the next day by having sahar and intending to abstain from all that breaks his fast for Allah's pleasure. Messenger Muhammad said, Actions arido be judged only by intention and a man will have only what he intended. Sahih Muslim 1907 B. No breaking fast. Abstaining from all that breaks the fast from the break of dawn, al-far, to the sunset, maghrib. This rule is illustrated in verse no. 187 in Surah al-Baqarah. What invalidates fasting? The Muslim must avoid doing anything that may render his fasting invalid things that invalidate the fast and require kata, making up for the missed days. a. Deliberately making yourself to vomit. b. Eating, drinking or smoking. c. The beginning of menstruation. or post-childbirth bleeding even in the last minute before sunset.
d. Sexual intercourse, whether it results in ejaculation or not, or other sexual contact that results in ejaculation for men or vaginal secretions for women. e. Eating, drinking or having sexual intercourse after alfar or before sunset on the mistaken assumption that it is still permitted to do these actions. Things that do not invalidate the fast. a. Taking a bath or a shower. b. Using perfumes, wearing contact lens or using eye drops. C. Taking injection or having blood test. D. Using miswak, toothbrush, and rinsing the mouse and the nose with water. E. Eating, drinking or smoking unintentionally, forgetting that one was fasting, but the Muslim must stop the moment he remembers and continues fasting. F. Sleeping during the day and having a wet dream. He washes and goes on with fasting. The same happens with the couples who have sexual intercourse before the dawn but they could not guzzle, washing, they go on fasting and wash during the day. G. Kissing between the husband and the wife is allowed but they should avoid it lest it leads to the complete sexual intercourse. Conclusion Fasting is clearly reflected on the fasting Muslim's health, well-being and spirit. He is content, calm, self-assured, tolerant, patient and generous. He is like the angels. In brief, fasting guides the Muslim to be pious and righteous. This is best shown in the verse number 183 of Surah al-Baqarah. So taqwa, piety, fear of Allah, is the outcome of fasting, which leads to good morals and good manners. This fact is best shown in the following hadith. The Messenger of Allah, he should neither indulge in obscene language nor should he raise his voice and if anyone reviles him or tries to quarrel with him, he should say, I am fasting. Bukharian Muslim